Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we got for you today? Well, what we've got for you today, some of you may recognise this one because I've actually shown you a similar pen before. We've got an absolutely lovely Mentmore Auto Flow fountain pen. Now, the Mentmore Auto Flow pen came in numerous different colours. As I say, I've already shown you. Um, a brown one which I'll leave you a link at the end of the video so you can go and have a look at that one um, but just concentrating on this one um, I recently found this particular pen in the field out there well not specifically in a field but <laughs> um, I found this one at an antiques fair to be quite honest with you it came in a very sorry state and I actually only bought it um, really as a parts pen it had a number of issues, uh, one which was quite serious, which we'll show you in a moment. Um, but what I've done, I've restored it, everything looks absolutely lovely with it. It's a lovely pen, and what we've done, we've resurrected this pen. And the beautiful thing about it, somebody will have lots of years of writing enjoyment with it. So I thought I'd show you, um, or a, you know, do a video on this particular pen. So the Mentmore Auto Flow, Mentmore pens, very much underrated pens. Um, Mentmore made pens around from sort of 1920s through to 1950s. They were made in Hackney in East London, and this specific one. Well, they, they made obviously in lots of different colours different guises um, they also did which again I've shown you button filled pens this one as you can see is a lever pen so they made them in lots of different colours and different um, different configurations this one as you can see comes in this lovely blue and black marbling colour a lovely lovely example comes with gold filled trim now if you look at the lever there it's got all this lovely sort of slightly faceted lever and to the end there to the sort of um, the spoon section of the lever you can see it's got the letter M for Mentmore so a nice sort of slightly unusual lever um, the pen comes with a single cap ring you can see it's got this quite a narrow cap ring to the bottom of the cap there and if we take you up to the um, clip let's show you sideways view we've got a lovely ball clip to this pen and once again if we show you to the top there to the top of the clip you'll notice it's got the letter M again for Mentmore to the very top there you've got this sort of slightly peaked uh, black cap stud uh, one of the issues the cap stud and the section were extremely badly discoloured but what we seem to have done well what we've done we've sort of polished it we've got a little bit of colour back into the uh, the cap stud and the section and in my opinion it looks a hundred percent better one of the other issues on this pen normally the um, the barrel imprint reads meant more auto flow made in England um, Pat tested or pat applied for now if we show you the pen for some reason we can't see or the the barrel imprint is not visible so whether it's actually worn um whether somebody for some reason has polished it away i do not know although saying that i have actually polished the pen myself but the barrel imprint is missing now with a loop i can just simply see a little bit where it actually says something about um, the, the pat pattern is applied for. So I think there was, originally there was obviously a barrel imprint somewhere on the pen. But alas, it's missing. But doesn't affect the beauty and the working of the pen. The size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel. Um, 126 millimeters capped around the diameter of the pen. A lovely 12 millimeter in diameter once again let's show you the the color the color of the pen absolutely lovely this blue and black marbling to the pen
So although it came in a very sorry state, in my opinion, we've resurrected it and again, you know, we've brought it back to life. Let's unscrew the cap for you. Show you the, the pen in different angles while I'm showing the pen in different angles. Um, I'll also tell you that um, the Mentmo Auto Flows or the Mentmo Company was the, um, if you like, the umbrella company or the parent company for Platinum. Um, Mentmo also made pens for retailers and other people, so they made pens, not necessarily for other manufacturers, but, you know, for, for retailers and other distributors. Let's pop the cap down like so. Let's just show you the section there again. Very well, very discoloured when I received it. Again, we've got some black or got it back to the original colour. Looks very nice. Slightly concaved section. Making it, well, with it being concave, very nice and very comfortable to hold. Now, one of the major faults with this particular pen when I received it was the nib. The nib, in my, well, not in my opinion, but in most, in some people's opinion, was ready for the melting pot. Now, it was in a bad situation. Now, what I'll do, I'll show you the picture of the nib before. So, there you have it. And that's how the, the nib came to me on this particular pen. Very badly splayed at the tips or the tines. And I thought, right, does that go in the melting pot or... Do we try and uh, try and repair it? So, right, let's take the picture away. So what I've done, I've repaired the nib, I've worked on it. Not only that, the feed um, was badly, a little bit, well, not badly, but it was misshapen for some reason. So what we had to do, we had to work on the nib. We also had to work, heat set the section as well. So if I bring the nib up to you a little bit closer, and show you the result. There you go. I'm hoping you can see that. So what we've done, we've straightened everything. Let's show you a sideways view. And as you can see there, it's got a lovely piece of iridium tipping to the end of the nib. So we've you know we've managed to be able to keep that. Incidentally, I'm hoping you can see the the imprint of the nib reads Mentmore Osmiridium. 14 karat gold. So one of the major problems with this pen was the nib. Very badly splayed and in I think in some circumstances if somebody else would have received that particular nib um, it would have gone into the melting pot and they would have maybe tried and find another replacement nib. But what I managed to do is straighten everything out. It took a while to work on it. We then had to obviously smooth the tips as I said the feed underneath was misshapen. We had to heat set the feed underneath there. And you can see now everything is nice and clean. Back, hopefully, to how it was. So the nib took quite a bit of work. But in the end, in my opinion, it was well worth it. Because what we've done, we've saved the pen from the scrap heap, if you like. Pardon? <laughs> okay, okay, I can hear you. You want to see it writing. Right, okay then. So, what we do, we dip the nib in the ink, pull on the lever, so let's do that. Okay, we've got lots of bubbling going on there, which is precisely what we like to, to see. Now, in a lot of cases, what I do when I actually restore a pen i actually literally test it live with you people occasionally we have the odd problem most times everything goes uh, everything goes well to plan if you like in this particular case obviously because i had to work on the nib i had to smooth the tip etc um get the flow correct you know and basically do everything that you need to do on a nib so i have actually tested it before um, before we do this writing sample and yeah everything was uh, everything was fine so what we have is a a 
a Mentmore. As we said, the model on this one is the is the Auto Flow. The date of the pen, I would say, maybe 1930s, 1940s. It's now writing very nicely. Thank you. As you can see, um, there's no flexibility in the nib. It's quite a hard nib, but saying that, as I said, I've smoothed it, I've worked on the nib, and obviously, as you saw in the picture before, it wasn't going to work for anybody, but now, as you can see, it's writing very nicely, smoothly, with a nice nice wet line as well and i would say writing with a fine line so there we have it so whereas before the nib was no good for anybody maybe just for the scrap heap or the the melting pot we've now worked on the nib got it back as good or as as best i could i've worked on the nib i've smoothed i've heat set the feed i've adjusted everything and it's writing very very nicely so after all that what we'll do we'll try and find a new home for this beauty because it deserves a new home um, after it's what it's actually been through and somebody is going to have many many years of well of pleasurable writing whereas maybe a little while ago well it was like an ugly duckling and maybe it was ready for the scrap heap but now resurrected ready to go ready for a new for a new home so that's the auto flow meant more came to me with numerous issues which we've sorted i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below don't be shy and don't forget to subscribe but for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.